Hey YouTube, welcome to another sewing tutorial by Salty DIY. Today we're making super baggy, super comfortable drop crotch pants. The pattern we are drafting looks like this and we will use this for both the back and front of the pants. Before we begin, put on a straight leg pair of pants and mark these points for references. Um, so we make a mark below the knees, the length of your pants, that's where your pants will end, and then your thigh and measurements around your thigh, and how low you want the drop to be. I make this test pair with a shorter drop and slimmer legs. The pair that we're making is going to be a much lower drop. And also your hip measurements. So we will start by dividing the hip measurement by 4 and add about 1.5 centimeters. So this style of pants have a lowered waistline. So you mark 7 centimeters and then join the two points. To make the waistline curve nicely, we will lower it 1.5 centimeters from the midpoint and use that as a reference to draw the curved line. I'm starting with a tiny straight line to form a right angle before drawing the curved line. We do this because later on when we join the two front pieces together, this two right angle will form a straight line. We will also do this on the other end of the waist where the front and back panels meet. Now I'm drawing the sides of the pants. Here you can control how wide your pants will be. So the more you move the line outwards, the wider it will be. Now mark how low you want the crouch to be. Then use the pants and mark the points below the knee and also the length of the pants. We will create the pants legs first. Then we will use the point under the knee as a reference to draw the curved crotch line. So we will go straight up from the middle of the pants and kind of curve it so that it ends into the pants legs. I'm now creating the pockets. And we will cut out the pattern like so. As a reference here you see two pattern pieces with different drop crotch lengths. So if you're making a shorter drop, you make sure that um, the pants will fit you around the thigh area. So this is cotton fabric. We will mark out the back panels of the pants first. So we're going to fold the fabric in half. It doesn't matter if you do it like with the right side facing up or the back side facing up for this. It's up to you, just keep it consistent. We align the legs of the pants to the selfish, to the selvage. Pin the pattern over the two layers of fabric and trace around it with chalk. 
So after that, we will add the seam allowances. The size of the leg, the drop crouch area, that's the middle area, and the curvy crouch area <laughs> will have a 2 cm seam allowance. The waist is 1 cm, and the pants leg hole is 5 cm. So I will make this into a illustration and post it on my blog. So if you need it as reference, please go and visit and download it. So we cut out the back panels first, and then we will trace out the pocket back piece. So after that, cut the curvy part of the pocket off. If you want to reuse the pattern, you just staple the pocket piece back to the main pattern piece. Yes, hold it, hold it. So here's a recap of the pattern pieces cut out so far. Two back pieces, two front pieces, and two sets of pockets. You also need a long rectangular piece for the waistband, but we'll get to that later. We will sew the pockets opening first. So place the pocket piece on top of the front panel piece. So both the right sides of the fabric are facing each other. And then we will sew the pockets opening. The seam allowances for the pocket is one centimeter, except for the sides, which is two centimeters. So I cut that side to match the seam allowance of the front panel. It makes it easier to line up the pattern pieces together this way. Okay, so we've got the pockets done, and now it's time to fat fill the two front panels together. So with the correct size of the fabric facing you, pinch the drop crotch area together, and then we will sew with a 2 centimeter seam allowance. The seams will show on the correct side of the fabric, so don't freak out. Next, next we trim off one of the seam allowances very close to the sewn line. We will use the uncut side to wrap around the cut side, thus forming the flat fell seam. For good results, iron the uncut seam over the cut one. And then you fold the seams over to form like a one centimeter band, and then sew over it. So we will join the two back panels the same way. If you use the left panel to wrap over the right panel, you do the same with the back pieces. Uh, it will make the seams line up when you sew up the pants. Now we will sew the sides of the pants together, um, also with the fat fell seam, and I will show you this part close up. You see that this kind of seam makes a clean finishing. It looks good on the inside and also on the outside. The next part is sewing the crotch area 
with French seams. We will sew the seams up with the pants turned over to the right side. And then we chop off both sides of the seam allowances close to the sewn line. So about three millimeter is okay. Then you flip the pants over to the wrong side. See that that's the seam. And this is the wrong side. And now we will pin and sew over this to enclose the raw edges. So on the inside, it will also look clean. So this is what it looks like on the outside. Uh, before you sew the cuff down, you should try it on and see if the legs are of the same length. Mm, so I think that's about it. So this is how I make my super baggy drop crotch pants. And I think once you know how to make the pattern, you can play with it and you can use different color of thread to sew up the seams. Uh, you can make it patchwork style. There's many things you can do with it. Please do consider subscribing and give me a like if you find this helpful. Bye!